Chances are you've seen this face on YouTube. This is Marquez Brown Lee, AKA MKBHD, one of the, if not the greatest tech YouTuber in my opinion. I love his videos and I love his style of editing. I recently watched his editing course and I thought I would share some of his editing tips as well as things I've noticed from watching his videos that could help you make better, more engaging videos of your own. Tip number one is jump cuts. And I'll show you a little hack that will essentially turn one shot into two camera angles and it will make your life so much easier. Although MKBHD uses a great amount of B-roll to keep his audience's attention, he also uses jump cuts quite a lot when he's just showing himself talking on screen. For a traditional jump cut, you would simply make a cut in the clip and scale the second clip up a bit, and then possibly adjust the position. I usually try to keep the subject in the same spot, especially the eyes for a more pleasing looking jump cut. And this is what that looks like. So I'm super excited to announce that my free whip pan and zoom transition pack is now available. Simple enough, but when you're doing multiple jump cuts, you have to constantly redo the scale and position adjustments. Sure, you can copy a clip using command C and then hit command shift V to paste those scale and position parameters, but there is a faster and a better way to do it. Before starting your edit, you need to create a multicam clip. So select your single shot and any other clip you like. It doesn't matter what it is, you just need more than one clip to create a multicam clip. I'll right click and select new multicam clip. I'll give it a name and I'll hit OK. I'll drop the multicam clip onto my timeline and double click to open it. I'll delete this other random clip, select the talking head clip and hit Command C to copy. I'll change the monitoring angle to the second angle and I'll hit Command V to paste. Make sure that the two clips are in sync and now you can adjust the scale and position of the second clip. I'll click this arrow to go back to my timeline and now when I go through my clip, I can use the one and two keys to change between angle one and angle two. So I've essentially created a second angle from the same shot. You can hit Command Shift 7 to open up your multicam window if you need to. The great thing about doing it this way is not only that it's much faster, but if you decide that the second angle is cropped in a bit too much, you can open up the multicam and adjust the second angle. And when you go back to your timeline, all the instances of that second angle have been updated. MKBHD uses a lot of J-cuts to help improve the flow of his videos. If you're unfamiliar with J-cuts, it's basically when you hear the audio of the next clip a little bit before you see the video of the next clip. So that looks something like this. Now, Marquez does it a little different as you can see on screen here. He layers the clips and the timeline gets a little bit messy. I'm not knocking him, the system clearly works well for him. I just like to see all of my talking head footage on one single track, if you will. What I would do is cut my talking head footage up like this, and then I'd select all of these clips and hit Control S to expand the audio. Now I can grab each cut and just drag it forward a few frames to create the J cut. Or I can select the cut and hit the greater than sign on my keyboard to move that cut forward one frame at a time. With all of these clips selected, you can hit Alt or Option T to create little crossfades to smooth out the cuts in the audio. Selecting everything and hitting Control S again will collapse the audio. MKBHD uses a lot of graphics and transitions in his edits to keep them engaging, but also to give the viewer additional information or to point out specific things while he's speaking. MKBHD obviously uses a lot of custom graphics, but he has also partnered with Motion VFX to create an MKBHD pack of effects and transitions, which is currently on sale for Black Friday, and you can get 30% off by clicking the link down below and using the code. Let's have a look at what's in the pack. There are a bunch of different backgrounds that you can use to add text to or overlays. There are calls to action that are handy if you want to tell your viewers to please subscribe or to please like the video. The features templates are great if you're reviewing products or software and you can overlay them on screen. There are intro templates if you want to create quick intros for your videos, lower thirds and other title effects that you've seen throughout this video. My favorite part of the MKBHD pack is the tools and effects section, which has a ton of useful templates like this additional footage template. If you want to tell your viewers to check out your 100 shortcuts video next or these on-screen pointers, a split screen effect for adding B-roll or the zoom in effect, just to mention a few. There are also a bunch of really nice transitions that come included in this pack, but my favorite is transition six. And that's one that MKBHD uses a lot to transition from him speaking to B-roll and it can be customized with on-screen controls and in the inspector window. And then you can use it to transition back to the talking head footage. 
These are all things that MKBHD does, and now you can have these customizable graphics as part of your toolkit too. The great thing is that you can get 30% off this and a ton of other Motion VFX plugins until December 4th using the code BLACK30. So click the link below to check that out. If you have a lot of talking head on screen, your video can get boring and you can lose your viewer's attention. One way to avoid that is to have some kind of movement in the shot. MKBHD does this really well. Aside from jump cuts, he makes use of these slow but constant zoom ins like this. There is a template included in the pack I mentioned for it, but you can create the same effect using keyframes. With my playhead at the beginning of the clip, I'll add a new scale keyframe, and then I'll move to the end of the clip and I'll increase the scale. The result is a nice, smooth, constant zoom. He also does these foster zoom ins that ease in and out. Unfortunately, we can't do that with keyframing since Final Cut Pro doesn't give us the option to ease keyframes in and out. But the MKBHD pack has a nice zoom in effect. There is a free alternative if you aren't interested in the MKBHD pack, and that is another plugin from Motion VFX called MCAM Rig. It works as an adjustment layer, and you have loads of different settings to customize it, and you can create a similar zoom in and zoom out movement. Again, it's free and I'll link to that down below. The final tip is to use text on screen to highlight important points or to give your viewer additional information. MKBHD does this a lot when he's talking about features of a certain product or to give his viewers extra context on what he's talking about. Text can help keep your viewers engaged when you don't have B-roll of the things that they're talking about. To summarize, if you want to edit more like MKBHD, you'll want to make use of jump cuts, J cuts, graphics and transitions, zoom ins, and use text to highlight important points in your video. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to check out the link down below to get 30% off at Motion VFX, and I'll see you in the next one.